Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's topic is space pollution. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on our social networks as seen on the screen with the link in the description. Let's get started. Space debris is trash that orbits the Earth, and it consists of anything from tiny pieces of powdered rocket components to disused satellites. NASA has explained that space debris also includes parts of spacecraft. Human beings have been sending various objects into space for more than 50 years, and many of them, now useless, have just stuck around. NASA has also said that at least once a day objects from orbit or space fall to Earth, landing mainly in the oceans. Space should be seen as a limited and a shared natural resource. The continuous generation of space debris will eventually cause something called the Kessler Syndrome. This happens when the density of objects orbiting the Earth gets so high that these objects start to collide, thereby generating new debris which in turn increases the probability of new collisions. Space debris can be classified into two broad categories, natural debris and debris created artificially. Natural debris mainly consists of meteorites, dust residues, and space rocks that have entered Earth's orbit. Once meteorites pass Earth's atmosphere, they disintegrate. Asteroids, in contrast, have not been detected coming very close to Earth. Artificial debris includes all kinds of material that humans have sent into space. In 2017, it was estimated that there were about 18,000 objects drifting around the Earth. More than 6,000 of these were from the Russian origin, 5,000 were from the United States, and almost 4,000 from China. Now, in 2021, the European Space Agency has estimated that there are more than 750,000 objects larger than one centimeter orbiting uselessly. Those most affected by these particles are space agencies and satellites. The artificial objects that orbit the Earth include operational ships 7%, Obsolete ships 22%, rocket debris 17%, objects related to space missions 13%, and other unidentified fragments 41%. Since the beginning of the space age, the amount of debris from spacecraft and rockets has been increasing because they disintegrate upon re-entry into the Earth's orbit. The European Space Agency estimates space debris to weigh more than 93,000 tons. The total area occupied by space debris is quite serious and is predicted to increase the number of collisions expected in the future. The collisions will be between space debris and satellites. In the last two decades, there have been about 12 accidental fragmentations per year caused by collisions, explosions, electronic problems and others. An example of how space collisions occur is what happened on February 10, 2009 when an American telecommunications satellite called Iridium-33 and a similar satellite of Russian origin named Cosmos-2251 collided, causing more than 2,300 traceable fragments. Two years earlier, in 2007, China carried out an anti-satellite test by launching a missile to destroy an old meteorological satellite. This effort added 300 pieces to the space debris problem. In 2019, the United Nations declared space debris as a threat to the satellites taking care of communications on Earth. However, countries such as the United States, China, Russia, India, France, Japan, Canada and the United Kingdom have ignored the problem and continue to send garbage into space. On the Explorer LEO website, you will find the fascinating map that shows all the satellites and space debris in real time. Take a look at this map from your home. Here's the link to the map and also below in the description. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you in the next video.